So why didn't his bank do more to help 88-year-old grandfather scammed out of $28,500, the family asks. So Philip Ali, 88, got the call every grandparent fears. His grandson had been arrested on drug charges and was in serious trouble with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. He just got married, he's training to be a paramedic, and he just passed his exam, Ali said. With a criminal record, Ali said, his chances of getting this job just became nil. So, it turns out that this guy received a call. And the guy who's supposed to be his grandson is bawling his eyes out and crying, saying, Grandpa, Grandpa, can you help me? And it sounds exactly like my grandson. Now, I don't necessarily believe that. But, this guy ultimately gave them $28,500. Now, here's how it worked, okay? Uh, his grandson had not been arrested. He was not facing drug charges. It was all a con. So, from November 3rd to November 8th, the fake police officers convinced Ali to make three large cash withdrawals from his bank, Meridian Credit Union, totaling $28,500. They told Ali they would send a courier to pick up the cash, and the courier would share a verbal password, code yellow, to prove they were sent by the court. So in less than a week, they had almost $30,000 from his front doorstep. Now, the family is basically saying, because they were given uh, power of attorney, it sounds like, but the daughter is saying, why weren't we informed? I'm power of attorney. Why was I not told that these large transactions were occurring? Well, it turns out that the law does not mandate that they are informed. In fact, if the person is able to transact on their own, there's no requirement to notify any other account holders uh, when the person who's actually on the account makes the withdrawal. They do say also, uh, they said, well, you know, your dad lied to us about what he was using the money for. So he made three withdrawals. And he told them that he was buying a car on one and he was doing some other stuff on the others and whatever, right? Well, let's see if I can quickly find it here. It was only asked questions. The third time, he said he was taking out an inheritance for his grandson. They asked him to sign a waiver that the bank wasn't responsible if he lost the two envelopes of $100 bills he was given. So, here you go. He says he's giving an inheritance. He says he's buying a car, whatever. These are sort of reasonable reasons to take out the money. So, my question is, who thinks that this is the way police will do business. And my love for the RCMP is no, nowhere to be found, basically, okay? But is this how any legitimate organization is going to do? They'll just call and they'll say over the phone, well, you know, just you know, give us $28,500 and, and he's going to have no problems. Sorry, that's not how it works. You have to go to the police station. Why wouldn't you call your grandson? Why wouldn't you call his wife? Why wouldn't you call other members of the family to say, oh my God, have you heard about Johnny? I, I got a call. He said he was arrested on drug charges or something. Have you heard about this? They want $15,000 from me and they want freaking a total of $28,500 paid in three installments. Over the course of the next week, they'll pick it up from my house. Why wouldn't you contact people? So I say, sorry, this is somebody that just got scammed. That's not the, the bank's fault. That's your fault for not being aware enough to say this is a scam. I'm not going to do it now. He's 88 years old. So maybe he isn't in, in his right mind. Okay, Maybe this guy's faculties are not all there. And if so, that's terrible. I do. I feel bad for this guy. I can't imagine losing $28,500. How freaking horrible would that be? Okay, that's going to be terrible. But you know what? If he can't discern that that is what's going on, he should not be on that account. He should be taken off. They should say no. He is uh, non compass mentis or whatever they, uh, the term is, where they say this guy doesn't have the faculties to operate his daily life. Because everything in this is red flag central. And the fact he didn't even contact his grandson directly. He didn't call his cell phone or call his home phone. None of that. It was just like, oh, oh my goodness. I guess I guess I got to pay. I guess I got to pay. What else can I possibly do? I have to freaking go down, pull out 
$30,000 and wait for some guy to drive up in a car and say code yellow to me and then I'll just hand him over the money. I, I feel bad for him. But this isn't the government's fault. This is not the government. This isn't the bank's fault. Okay? This is not the bank's fault. This is just getting conned. And if the con men are ever found, they should absolutely be arrested and charged. Uh, but this is why con men and frauds are so bad. Okay? Because it's just you're screwed. That's what it is. You're screwed. Sorry. You freaking lost. It's terrible. He has not had any of his money returned. Uh, they're happy that an arrest was made. And of course, they're probably never going to get the money. But they feel vulnerable because the fraudsters know her father's phone number and home address. Well, you know, don't give it. Don't give it. Right? If you've got to pay the police a fine, go down to the police station and pay the fine. That's pretty basic stuff. Right? We're noticing a large increase in emergency type scams. It, and again, this is... Every year I've been alive, it seems they're like, we're seeing more scams. We're seeing more scams. We're seeing more scams. Okay? It, it, I don't know that they're seeing more scams. I think they're just seeing scams every year. There's just different scams. There's more like new scams. Because as technology goes on, people find different ways to scam people. Right? It's all the freaking shell game just at a larger level. So, I'm sorry. I feel bad for this guy. I do. But you can't expect uh, the, the bank to watch over every single person. If you know that your dad has particular mental limitations because of his age, he, maybe he's got some form of dementia or just bad memory or he's not all there. If you know that's the case, you need to take the steps to get him removed from the ability where he can actually make decisions which will hurt him in such a fashion. Sorry, you've got to take responsibility for your, for your own life and for the circumstances around it.